Alright you guys, welcome back. This is the Benjamin and you're watching Let's Play Xenogears, the greatest GRPG on Earth. So last time we went through a creepy door that was musical. Um, we decoded it, and it was awesome. Unfortunately, these battles are still going on. As I mentioned before, viewers, I do love this part of the game. It's just I do not care for these battles. These battles are a nuisance, and painful, and awful, and just all kinds of stuff. I do not like it. I do not like it. Oh, okay. So what's going on here? Um, before we go up that little area right here, I just want to check back here because, all right, let's let's see what's happening over here. Um, okay, kind of the same deal. And we go up here. Um, treasure chest. Cool. XJR plus six. Not a bad thing. Yeah. So these. This is one of the few areas where I. You know, you can still run into battles. Never mind. I thought you couldn't, but you can. Not like it really matters at this point, because, uh, I'm running away from pretty much every battle that is... that is conceivable. Um, and I think that this will actually lead you back down. So, this is... Oh, okay. So, yeah, this this is the other way you could have gone, but I'm just gonna go down there and retrieve that treasure chest, because why not? A survival tent. Which is not a bad thing, because it's especially since we're almost out of Omega Souls. I want to check something real fast, because I have a feeling that we might have learned some death blows. We just might not be at a high enough level. Uh, no, no, okay. So we're still working on Fuki. Uh, yeah, c -Tan's still coming along. All right, so we're really, really close to new death blows with these characters. It's just it's moving at really a snail's pace, which is, yeah, it's kind of a shame. Anyway, let's, let's explore this upper area, since both of these doors have led to, well, I guess you'd call them stairs. They're not really stairs. Extra ARDX. Yeah. Well, that's that's important. Well, it's been forever since we fought in Gears, hasn't it? Oh, still moving at a snail's pace for those uh, death blows. A little discouraging. A little discouraging, but uh, not to worry. Oh, look. I, I guess there's a third way up here. So let me... Uh, yeah, see, we're getting low in those Mega Souls. We've almost expended half of them. God, we're at... Phase almost at level 60. I mean... You get a real sense of how long this freaking game is. Not just by the fact that I'm on my 113th video, but also just the fact that uh, we're at level 60. I mean, most JRPGs, I've played a lot of them, usually around level 50, you're ready to fight the final boss. But, you know, we're, we're at least, like, a couple dungeons beyond the expected point of uh, the end of a game. So, we're up here. Let's, uh, let's take a stroll down this hallway right here. Hopefully this is not part of the, uh, the, the complex. Ah. Okay, so this is... That's a little freaky. Alright. So it's in the treasure chest. Sonic Wave. What is Sonic Wave? Um... Is that a piece of equipment? Is that, uh... I'm trying to figure out what that is. I feel like that's gonna be... Maybe a weapon of some sort? Okay. Apparently not. Uh, is this an item? Do, 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 do. Okay, well, I will later on figure out what a sonic wave is. I have a feeling it might be like a gun of some sort. Um, maybe for Billy or something. Alright, we learned Bright Spark. Well, Ellie did at least. We're still working on the other techniques for the other uh, characters. Uh, let's actually just take another second to look at that, because I'm, I'm, I'm continuously curious. Alright, so we're still working on that. <laughs> this is just moving along very, very slowly. Um, so yeah, Ellie's got, Ellie now has all of these standard techniques, and we'll, we'll check out, uh, Bright Spark in probably the next battle. Um, god, we must have slaughtered so many guards at this point, I feel like there's just a trail of, trail of guard bodies, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's a little harrowing too. Alright, so that's, that's another fantastic machine, let's see what's in here. Ah, Silver AR. Which will be useful. If, if I recall, Silver ARs are actually not bad uh, for your gear. I'm not sure if they're as good as the, the standard ARs, but they, they're definitely they're definitely helpful. Sorry guys, I forgot to show off Ellie's new technique. It was a bunch of those damn security cubes, I didn't feel like fighting them. They're thilly. Alright, one more of these. As you can see, these rooms are a little bit repetitive. The gold nuggets, all that stuff, we're gonna be, sh we're gonna be saving it for later. Ah. Uh. Yeah, when the music fades out like that, I don't know if that's just part of the, the track or if there's, like, something else going on. 
Or like if there's another battle to be started. You can never really not tell. Not fighting orphans. Cannot fight orphans. They're awful. Alright. What's behind door number 87 at this point? There's like, there's a lot of doors here. Oh, I like this. This is cool. Okay. Finally, we're gonna get some uh, clarity on a few things. Holograms. Huh. Yeah, let's see what's what's going on with these holograms. First of all, let's get the treasure chest. So this this part's actually kind of interesting. Let's let's see what they have to say about Bart. Do do do. Okay, so Bart Fatima. Upon, uh, upon uh, Anima's retrieval, schedule for Anima's adjustment. So we hear the bobbly heads talking a little bit about that. Either response, Anima alignment. Interesting. All right. So these guys have obviously done their homework on us. Um, what do they have to say about Billy? Anima alignment. Schedule for Animus readjustment. Okay, so that's interesting. What about Rico Banderas? What about you, sir? Uh huh. Alright, so created by the Ethos. Use. Oh, they got the whole thing on here. So he was created by the Ethos. That's pretty interesting. Ah, Animus readjustment. Okay. So that's that's fascinating. Oh, what about you, Emerelda? What have we to say about you? Oh, they didn't ask a null and dispose. Oh man. Well, that's a little discouraging. Is that uh, apparently Emerelda is not as entirely useful as um, the other characters? So that's sorry, Emerelda. I mean, at least we get that animus readjustment or what have you. That's pretty cool. What about you, Choo Choo? Unusable, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't like Choo Choo either, but this kind of hurts when you have the assholes in uh, the Skyrike also saying that. Now I'm all of a sudden a lot more defensive of Choo Choo. All right, what about you, Maria? What I have to say about you? Ooh. Ah, okay. Unusable. Well, at least at least we're not going to dispose of her. And what about myself, Mr. Fei Fong Wong? Have some interesting things to say about me? Ah. Contact. Immediate disposal desired. Either response infinite. Anima alignment infinite. That is really inter- It's so creepy that they have a number for everybody, though. This really is like the friggin' Skyrike. They just- They got it tattooed in our brains. That's nuts. But yeah, look at that. Infinite. God. Of course, they want to get rid of us, which is kind of too bad. What about Ellie? How about you, Ellie? What have we got? Alright, so... Oh, also infinite? So Ellie's pretty special. Possible anti-type, a tree for approval, and necessary analysis granted. So, they want to get rid of Faye, but they want to keep Ellie. And what about C10 Yuzuki? How about him? What do they have to say here? None. Well, that is incredibly suspicious. They got something to say about everybody, but they don't have anything to say about Satan Yuzuki. Wonder what that all means. And his real name is Hyoga Riktu. And we kind of know his first name, but what about his uh, second name? Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> anim Animas, they misspelled that. Well, Animas, or... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm mixing up my words today, word salad. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in the next episode, you're going to find out exactly what the deal is with all this. It's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be great, and I hope you are ready for the next episode of Let's Play Xenogears. This is the Benjinator, and thank you guys for watching.